Okay, I am back. I'm just trying to, I'm gonna finish this pumpkin. So if you did not see part one, um, you can head back onto my page and see how I started this pumpkin. And then I also left a, uh, a link to my blog post for the full project, like the paint I'm using, uh, and then um, how I did it. Um, and then I linked to a reel that I did, like all the things, right? So you can check that link out for everything. What I'm doing right now is I'm just using this little plastic spatula. And you, so you need baking soda. And you just want to make sure that your baking soda is... Okay, I'm just kind of in that. Let me, let me, <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of doing that. So let me, let me just rewind a little bit. So what I'm basically showing you how to do is how to do this. Um, this was an orange, you know, like it's the ceramic pumpkins that if you walk into your thrift stores right now, it, they should be full of them. Uh, I got this one for $1.88 and I have seen oh, I don't know, five since I got this one. And they're all like 488, 588. And it's like, if I, I want to get more of these and I'm hoping to find some with different faces, but I'm not gonna spend like, you know, $10 for them at the thrift store and then come home and do this. But if you go into your thrift store, if you check out my blog post that's in the link, you'll see what this looked like before. And then you'll totally, totally be like, oh my gosh, I see those all the time. It's got the dark green stem and this is like bright orange, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, make sure you check out the blog post. But anyway, this is the easiest project to do. And since I have discovered these paints, um, I just I, I just wanna do all the things with these paints. And it comes with different colors. Um, but so yesterday, I shared this pumpkin that I found at the thrift store. Let me kind of, it was, it's actually a threshold one, but I did find it at the thrift store. It was this color um, when I started. So I put two coats of the terracotta paint on it. And inside that blog post, you will be able to see the texture. Um, I took some photos up close. This paint, I mean, you can definitely uh, just try to mix some orange paints or whatever you have on hand to get the color you're looking for. Uh, but I just, I really love the texture that this gives off too. So I don't know. I just love sharing products when I find them. Um, I am central time. Uh, when I'm, when I find products that I love or things that make it easier, your projects or whatever easier. So I'm loving this paint. So what you need now is you're going to need your paint again. You want to make sure that your, whatever you're painting, whatever thing you're painting is fully covered with the color you're doing it in. Um, you don't want it to really be patchy at all. You want it to be fully because it's you're you're getting the look of terracotta, right? So you you want it to be that full color. So you will need now baking soda and make sure. So I suggest that you put it out in a little dish or a bowl or whatever you have near you. You could just throw it on your table if you wanted to pick up the mess. It will get messy. So I do have this. Uh, what mat on here that it makes it easier for me to clean up. But when you, sometimes when you open baking soda, it, it's kind of clumpy. So just make sure that you don't, that you kind of tap out all the clumps. So it's just, you know what I mean? So there's no clumps in it. You definitely want the baking soda out in something, something that you can easily grab. If that makes sense. Sometimes in the box, like it's hard to get your fingers in there. Um, I just use my fingers for this. So uh, if you don't, you can always use a paintbrush uh, for the baking soda part, but I just used my fingers. I just found that to be easiest. So what you're gonna do is whatever pumpkin you're painting, you're going to decide where you want the white detail. Okay, so on this one, I wanted it around the stem and I wanted it uh, you know, where the lines are. Um, so that's where I'm going to focus and I didn't want it. I didn't want it perfect. Like it's not going to all look the same, right? I wanted it to look like an authentic, authentic terracotta piece. Does that make sense? So decide before you do anything after this is dry, you've got all your coats of paint on it. Decide now where you want the white detail. And then you're going to take a paintbrush. Um, I'm just going to use this little one. And then you want to use the same color paint. So whatever paint you did this with, you wanna use the same 
paint. <laughs> and then here, let me, I'm just using these little plastic dishes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint in here. You can always add more, just start with a little. And what you're gonna do is you're going to not really dry brush, but not like fully, fully load your paintbrush, if you know what I mean. Like you don't want it really dry brushed, but yet you don't want it caked on there. So I don't know if you can, you can kind of see that. Okay, so I, again, I'm gonna wanna put that white detail along this edge. And so that's the only place I'm tapping. And I kind of work in uh, smaller sections. And so then all I do is I'm just picking up the, okay, there we go, sorry guys. I am just picking up the baking soda and I'm gonna sprinkle that where I just put the paint. <clears throat> and you can see, I'm not being perfect with it. Now, you kind of, I'm trying to get it in on that paint. Cover that painted area and leave it alone. <clears throat> just leave it alone and then move on. So I'm gonna go around this stem. I'm doing the same thing. And now I'm gonna pick up the baking soda and I am going to, I think this would be fun to do with the kids too, right? It's kind of messy, but not really messy. Um, I've said it here before, but I was one of those moms where it, it was like the glitter. I, I was not really a glittery mom because I just could not stand the mess. Uh, but we did projects all the time. And this one, I mean, for this part, kind of you'd want a little bit older kids, but um, but I think it'd be fun to do with the kids. So now this is, um, let me just do a couple of these lines. So I obviously want it to come down through these lines. And again, I'm not being, you know, I'm not being perfect with it by any means. Um, You just kind of want to leave it. I'm going to kind of tip this back. There we go. See how I'm doing that? Okay. Now, if you touch this before it's ready, you're not going to ruin it. You can't, um, you can't ruin it. It's just going to, uh, what do I want to say? Kind of like the paint and the baking soda will kind of ball up. So when I want to, let me do this when I'm not wasting as much. <laughs> Let me just do this so then some of that will fall down on there. So when I'm moving it off those areas where I just did it, you just kind of want to... I used my, like I said, I used my hands. And so I just kept, see that's a little too wet yet. You'll kind of see the paint, like I said, kind of ball up, which it's okay. It's totally okay. But then you just kind of want to, this one's not as wet. See how I'm just, it was a little bit wetter. I, can you see that? Probably not in there. You're just gonna use your hands and literally it just is gonna fall off where you don't want it. Just keep using your hands. Um, I'm sure a paintbrush would work too, but this works so easily that, and you just want it you just want like a hint of it there, right? So you can see the difference between that and just keep doing this until you like the way it looks. So the difference between that and this, see what I mean? And so you're just gonna do this all the way around your pumpkin. And I kind of like how when I was, you know, your paint's kind of, when you're doing this with your fingers, your paint, it's kind of like wet in areas. And so you may touch the wet paint and then as you bring it up here or whatever, you're trying to wipe it off, some of that white baking soda kind of sticks there and it just kind of, it just makes it look like, it just makes it look so cool. So like, again, this is another project that you cannot, cannot mess up. And some of the lines go heavier uh, than you would, you know, on some of the other ones. Maybe it doesn't go all the way down. It just goes halfway down. Uh, I'm not going to touch that just yet. 
I want to see, I keep pushing that down there. So I'm going to just do all these lines here before I touch that top stem part because it's falling all down there anyway. So then it's just like one less step. That I might, okay. I'm all the way up into the baking soda, that's okay. <laughs> That'll just add more texture to your paint. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> and kind of like, uh, you could probably use glue, but I knew for sure this paint was gonna dry, you know, the color of the piece of the pumpkin. And so I didn't have to worry about what the glue was gonna do. The paint was just going to hold that the way, you know, where I wanted it. And then, okay. So it just kind of works perfectly. So I don't know where I started. I wanna go back to where I started, here we go. So then as I'm pushing this off, it's just gonna kind of fall down in there. And that's actually kind of, I didn't smooth that out very good. It's all right. I'm just gonna kind of go around the stem here. And I'm just, you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna push down this excess until there really isn't that much, and then I will add more. And again, it's forgivable. So you're, it's, you can keep, moving this baking soda all the way around. See like right in there it gets, it was getting thick, but even when, okay, can you see right here? The baking soda almost looks like it's kind of orangey. It just makes it look more authentic. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. And if you feel like your paint has dried, you can always add more. I'm kind of working fast here just because I wanted to get that excess off and I'm hoping my paint isn't fully dry here, but if so, that's all right, no big deal. So you see what I, put a mat underneath you because it is gonna get a little messy. I mean, it's just baking soda though, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, well, there's a lot of paint there, so this one's gonna be thicker. There too. Okay, did I, oh, no. I'm just picking this up now. Okay, I think I made it all the way around. Okay, yeah, that's just a little bit thicker there. So yeah, so then, I mean, you guys, it's super simple. <laughs> super simple, and I promise you, once you do one and you see what it looks like, you're gonna wanna do a ton. I'm just hoping that nobody else around me has seen this project uh, and wants to buy all the pumpkins at the thrift stores because I would like to do a couple more. But this set of the terracotta paint, see right there, I wanna add some more. Uh, it comes in like the prettiest, and again, again, I forgot to grab the rest. Uh, if it wasn't in a different room, it's back in like our storage room where I keep the other paints, I get it, but. Like there's pretty pinks and uh, like a darker terracotta color. This one needs some more down here too. And so sometimes I will push it. Um, it's not fun when you have to itch your eye or something. When you have to um, push it into there like that and just let it settle uh, for a little bit then before I stop or I start kind of pulling the excess off. Like I said, I'm, a paintbrush would probably be fine too. This was just easy, easy, easy. So, and it worked. I felt I have, not that you wouldn't have control with a little paintbrush, but. Now this one, to see the before, you'll have to watch the the video I did yesterday, because I did not, I'm not posting about this one since I did the post on the website already for the other one, but. <laughs> My chair, it's like when I move, it's squeaking. It sounds like a little. 
Okay, now, like, once you get it, oh my god, it just looks like the real deal. <laughs> it's so cool. And like I said, the, 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 um, baking soda, like, I have a lot of excess up there. Just keep pushing it down and away from there. And the paint's not drying as fast here um, as it is in the stripes down the pumpkin. So it's it's kind of hanging on to that excess, but it'll you can move it. it it'll, it'll come off for sure. But it just gives that, oh my gosh, I'm wiping, wiping baking soda all over me. Um, that just kind of chalky kind of just terracotta look. That's so pretty. And you do not have to spend $90 to have these pumpkins at all. You could do, I saw one where it was, they used watered down paint for this. Um, you could try that too. I just like the way that this kind of gave it a, that chalky, real terracotta look, if that makes sense. Just kind of, I didn't really add any. Let's just try a little bit up here. My paint's kind of drying a little bit, but let's see if anything catches on there. So has anybody grabbed, gotten this paint yet? I've shared it on a couple. I did the acorns, I'm saying last week. So we're just gonna act like, I think that's when it was. I can't remember. So see there with the stem, I coated it really, really well. And I'm just gonna let that sit. And then I'll try a paintbrush there. Some of these, some of these were, oh, that one's not. But some of these were wet, but. Um, yeah, it just might get a little messier, you know, just as it's kind of flinging everywhere, but. To be completely honest, don't use the paintbrush. I don't, I feel like it took too much off. Your fingers kind of don't. Just kind of, I mean, you guys, isn't this something you can do? Does this seem hard? Really, really, really. Tom, be honest. I wanna know what you guys, I have friends that'll say, uh, yeah, I watched you do that and there's no way. And I'm thinking, and then I would say, you need to try it. It's really, really, really not hard. And, and you can't mess it up. That's the thing. I think some projects, um, you're worried that you're going to mess it up, but these are my favorite projects. They don't take a lot of time. They don't take a lot of steps or supplies. Um, and you really can't screw it up. Like there, <laughs> it's so forgiving that, oh my gosh. So much better than the white, the red pumpkin that I picked up reddish maroon. I don't know what color you would call that. Whatever you would call that color. So much better. Look at these. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I. <laughs> That wasn't even planned, but you know what? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I would love to have you share this video because it's such an easy project. Get your friends together. Everybody go to the thrift store, pick up a pumpkin, and then have like a friends night and do these. I think they're so fun and they're so, it's so, so, so easy. Uh, you can't screw it up. It'd be better with friends. Um, and if you do make one of these, if you're on Instagram, post a photo and tag me so I can see them. Um, obviously share here on Facebook as well, but, um, oh, Penny. Okay. So you got the paint. I also, the shiny pumpkins from the Dollar Tree in addition to the acorns. Yes. And did you see the pine cones there too? They had pine cones at 